But hey y'all, what is up? What's poppin'? It's your girl Audrey. And here we are. So in today's video, I am going to do like a sister lock Q&A. I did want to let you guys know that I tried washing my hair in with Dawn liquid dishwashing detergent or liquid, whatever. And um, I tried this because it had been, it has been literally over a month, like six weeks since I washed my hair. My hair was filthy. I had all kind of filled up. It was just nasty, honey. And it looked cute. It looked cute in pictures, but honey, it was nasty. It was, it wasn't smelling good. I hit up one of my friends and I was like, girl, have you ever washed your hair with Dawn? And she was like, yeah, but don't do it frequently because it's going to dry your hair out. And I will say that it's kind of dry. Like it feels kind of stripped. Now, I ain't going to lie. I haven't, I haven't been using the Sousa Lock shampoo and I haven't been using the, um, Swab clarifying. I've been using head and shoulders because I had a problem with dandruff. And I know I'm going to have some dandruff now that my scalp is like completely dry. So I'll probably get some oil. Shh. Don't tell nobody. And put it on my scalp. Not on my locks, but on my scalp because I'm already knowing that this dawn is about to like literally dry my hair out. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to insert a clip so you guys can see me washing my hair. I did have to wash my hair in my son's shower. Like I literally hate <laughs> getting in his shower. I have to like bleach it down, but his shower, I don't know. It's like the faucet, the water is just, it has a higher pressure than in my shower or in our shower. So I usually wash my hair in his shower. He has a window so I can let the window up, get some fresh air. Whereas my shower is just a standalone enclosed shower. But anyway, as you can see, I literally have to section my hair off. It's so thick and the washing process for me takes about 10 minutes and then I have to shower. So that's the question I have for you guys. Do you guys wash your hair before you shower or shower and then wash your hair? To me, my with my experience, it just, it feels better for me to wash my hair and then let all the dirt and stuff, you know, it gets on your body and then go ahead and shower. But anyway, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me let me know what you guys do. Anyway, moving along. Today we're going to do a Sister Locks Q&A. And I got about 10 questions here that I get in my DMs on Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram, these questions come from Instagram. Um, I usually try to answer like questions. I don't be having a lot of comments and you know in the comment section, but I do try to answer everybody's question. Um, YouTube isn't like Instagram or Facebook. It doesn't like pop up as soon as you post the question. Sometimes I don't get it to the next day or sometimes it's like two weeks because I miss it. So if you ever ask me a question I didn't answer, it's because I didn't see it. So just ask me again, girl, okay? So the first question that I get all the time, y'all literally, when I'm out and somebody else who has this locks and locks or something like that, they'll be like, how many locks do you have? That is the number one question that y'all want to know. And I don't have the answer to because I'm going to have to count my locks. And it's, as you can see, my hair is still kind of damp. As you can see, that is just going to be a tedious process. So right now, I don't know how many locks I have. Right now, my hair is going through this uh, frizzy type situation phase. I don't really know what's going on, but my ends are starting not to be as coily and it's like they're flattening out and I'm starting to get those little bulbs that are not falling out at the end. So this is just a really interesting stage of my locks. So maybe once they completely lock or they flatten out a little bit, then I'll count them. But right now, <laughs> girl, I'm sorry, but I don't have the answer to that. Number two, how long have you been sister locked? Um, I started my locks March 2018. So March to March, that's a year. And then April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. 12 plus eight, that's 20. I've been locked for 20 months now. So it's almost been two years. And I said I was gonna give my locks two years. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The past couple weeks have been a struggle for me um, with, my, with my locks. I started back working out and it's like, it's so hard being a black woman because you go natural so you can work out and you won't have to worry about your hair and then you go natural and it's loose natural and it's like oh my hair I gotta wash it and then you get locks and it's like it's sweaty 
and I ran out of sea breeze and I just haven't bought any more. So the last couple of weeks I've been like, girl, I'm about to shave my hair off. I called my home girl, I was like, girl, I'm about to cut my hair. I told my friend, I was like, listen, I'm about to cut my locks because I'm frustrated and I be talking a lot of shit. I really do. And I just want to thank you for my friends that let me vent and then tell me, you crazy, don't cut your hair. So I love y'all. Number three, who is your consultant? So people ask me this all the time. You want to know who my consultant is. My consultant is Lakitra Jones. And I think when she became a, a consultant, it was Lakitra Williams. So if you go to www.sisterlocks.com, come and find a consultant you will find my consultant because i am in the shreveport Bossier, louisiana area this is key because if you're thinking about getting sister locks you need to go to somebody who has been trained and certified to be a sister lock consultant any old body cannot do sister locks because they have been copyrighted people have to be trained girl it's like a whole situation about sister locks I'll put her like social media stuff in the description box below. So go spam her and tell her that I sent y'all. Question number four, how do you get your ends like that? My texture of hair, and I hate using the number scale because I kind of feel like I always feel like within three number categories, like in some areas, like my edges is like maybe three C, then I got four A and definitely four B <laughs> in the middle. I would even say four C, but you know, that can be argued but it's definitely the texture of your hair the density of your hair it just it just has to do with your personal dna and it's just so happening that my ends are coily now i am going through a situation right now where they're actually becoming straight so girl she just goes through a lot and i really don't know but i did try to do a braid out and i um left a little bit of the ends out and they curled up. Okay, number five, why don't you style your sister locks? Was that shade? Like, are y'all being shady? Are y'all bored with me? Like, let me know. The reason why I don't style my sister locks is because when I was a loose natural and I was doing style after style after style, I had breakage. My edges have not recovered from my pregnancy five and a half years ago. So that's the reason I don't style my hair. I don't like to put a lot of tension on my scalp and I'm lazy. And that's just what it boils down to. Um, why sister locks over dreadlocks? And you know, we, we use that term loosely or traditional locks or whatever type of locks there are. <laughs> y'all so shady with in y'all questions and y'all comments, honey. The reason I chose sister locks is because um, they were, I saw, Okay, number one, my friend had sister locks and I really liked her hair. So when she threw the term sister locks out there, I just ran with it. Uh, I knew they were different from traditional locks. Um, I knew that they were very small and that's why I went with it. I saw this girl on TV and she had sister locks. So I was like, that's what I want. So I want them to be small and neat and sister locks was just what I came up with. Number eight. How much do they cost? Okay, girl, <laughs> clutch your pearls, all right? They range anywhere from $600. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. It depends on the length of your hair when you start to select. I would say that I had about three inches of hair, probably. You guys can go back and look at some of my old videos, but um, $600 to install all the way up to Girl, if you got inches, 1300 or more, it you know, that's why you have a consultation. So just be prepared to spend probably on the low end, $600. And if somebody's telling you that they can put your sister locks in for $200 and they can't produce no certification, they not on the website, they not a trainee, they just, I can do sister locks. No sis, <laughs> don't trust her, okay? Period, number nine. How do you maintain your hair? What What's the maintenance of sister locks? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Really, there isn't a lot of maintenance with your sister locks. You, in the beginning, you do have to braid and band and there's so many videos on why you have to braid and band, but your sister lock consultant tells you 
to braid and band your hair and then your consultant will also tell you when you can stop braiding and banding your hair i do it sometimes and sometimes i don't now i don't have to she told me i didn't have to but um what else um you can wear a bonnet at night you don't have to wear a bonnet at night I would suggest you get a pillowcase that don't have like lint and stuff on it. That way you won't have no problems with any lint and you don't have to wear a bonnet. But if you have like cotton pillowcases and stuff like that, you might want to get a bonnet because a lot of people have problems with lint. I haven't had a, I haven't had any problems with lint yet and I don't wear a bonnet. Sometimes I do wear a bonnet. It just depends. So that's pretty much the maintenance you do have to separate your hair and what i mean by separate it, it's like detangling your locks so that they don't start locking together at the root and i haven't done that yet since i washed my hair but i'm gonna do it as soon as this video is over but other than that they're like so low maintenance now once every six weeks you do have to go sit for four hours to get your hair retightened and that's just what it is so if once every six weeks you cannot do that or you feel like you don't have time to do that then girl they not for you number 10 and this is the last question what advice would you give someone who is thinking about starting sister locks um do a lot of research i know you probably hear on youtube and you found me because you're thinking about locking your hair or maybe you already have locked your hair and you just like hear me yap about locks but um Honestly, I micro locks and sister locks, it's a, it's a lot of variables that go into having sister locks. Like you gotta have a dedicated consultant and a backup consultant just in case that consultant is not available. Um, there's just like more rules to having sister locks whereas micro locks, you know, you can do it yourself or you know, you could teach somebody else can learn how to do it. They're not the same as sister locks. Micro locks versus sister locks, if you ask me, yeah, I'm gonna say sister locks because I have sister locks, but I would also say research micro locks as well because there aren't as many rules to having micro locks. Now, if I had micro locks, I probably would still want somebody else to do them, but I do know that they're easier for you to do. Less rules, that's what I'm gonna say. It's less rules to have a micro lock. There, I said it, period. Whew. That is it for this video, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, girl, at just Audrea. I have like 8,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm like, girl, where y'all come from? <laughs> anyway, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss when I upload, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.